Welcome back to the dungeon. We're here with more SCP Deep Dive. Here on the channel, I love deep diving into random BS. And this time we're doing it with some SPC, baby. S SCP, SCP. Oh my God, I keep switching the letters. Ignore it, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> All right, I already checked out uh, some of the lore and terminology video from the Vulcan. We also checked out an infinite Ikea video. And now we're going to be checking out SCP-096, which has been super recommended to me in the comments of my videos. So I do read all the comments. So feel free to keep suggesting stuff to me. It just takes me some time to get to things because this channel is a variety channel. I do a lot of different types of content. But I will get back around to it when I am interested in something. And I'm really interested in SCP. So we're going to get it started, shawty. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads and also to give me some more suggestions of which videos you want me to see. But don't post links. Links are cringe. Just put the title of what you would want me to see because it's easier for me to search that way and understand what's more popular. With links, I can't even tell what the hell you're putting in there. So that's the best way for me to know. Thank you very much. Let's get it. Hello, everyone. Hello. So, long story short, my security clearance is not adequate for the anomaly you're being briefed on today. What? So, Mobile Task Force Commander Robert Hunt will be covering the briefing. Oh, Robert Hunt. Systems up and running. Anyway, I'll see you all later, and I hope you learn something. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Doctor Miller. Can you confirm that Acid is online and Scramble version 2.1 has been initialized? Thank you. Is that his own voice? Is that him just voice acting in a different voice? Or is that somebody else voice acting that? Just wondering. Anyone? Anyone? Let's begin. Item number. Oh. SCP-096. Yeah. Object class Euclid. Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-096 is to be contained in its cell. A five meter cubed airtight steel cube at all times. Airtight, god damn. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. I guess I don't need to bring it. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-096. Oh shit. I use this motherfucker as one of my thumbnails. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know. He just looked freaky. I typed in SCP and I saw a picture of this dude. So I used it for one of my thumbnails. <laughs> Fix his cell. Security personnel will use pre-installed pressure sensors and laser detectors to ensure SCP-096's presence inside the cell. Any and all photographs, video, or recordings of SCP-096's likeness are strictly forbidden without approval from Dr. Or oh. a five. Description. Oh, okay, okay, this is exciting for me. SCP-096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. That's so tall! It shows very little muscle mass with preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Arms are grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body Ugh. with an approximate length of 1.5 meters each. Okay. Skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation with no sign of any body hair. It's okay, I got some pigment. You need some color, I got four you. Four times the norm of an average human. Other facial features remain similar to an average human with the exception of the eyes, which are also devoid of pigmentation. It is oh! not yet known whether SCP Oh, that's creepy. So the eyes are just fully white. That's, ooh, eerie, eerie, six eerie. Is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile, with pressure sensors inside its cell, indicating it spends most of the day pacing by the eastern wall. However, when someone views SCP-096's face, whether it be directly, via video recording, or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. I think I might have killed you all. <laughs> I think you might have been right, chat, because I used a picture of him as a thumbnail. <laughs> And now I think I might have doomed you all. <laughs> SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands Oops. and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. <laughs> Approximately when someone enters my room. <laughs> when when, I, when my mom, one of my mom's friends enters my room. <laughs> no! No, please! No! 
No! I was hiding in here for a reason. No! I thought I was safe. <laughs> One to two minutes after the first viewing, SCP-096 mm -hmm. will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point on be referred to as SCP-0961. Okay. Documented speeds have varied from 35 kilometers per hour to kilometers per hour, and seems to depend on the distance from SCP-0961. At this point, no known material or method He's can impede SCP-096's progress. The actual position of SCP-0961 does not seem to affect SCP-096's response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-0961's location. Note. Oh. This reaction does not occur when viewing artistic depictions. See document 0961. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, if it's art, it don't matter. Okay, okay, okay. Of experiment 0961. Experiment 0961 is headed by Dr. Dan. Purpose is to test SCP-096's abilities while obtaining complete physical description of SCP-096. D-9031 is a 32-year-old convicted felon and former tattoo artist. D-9031 is placed inside Bathysphere 303A, which is then lowered in the Tonga Trench off the coast of New Zealand. Position is approximately 7 kilometers from SCP-096's temporary containment cell. At dude, dude, it's like you said this is motherfucker to die. Oh, man, the human experimentation kind of wild, though. Also, why they gotta mention he a tattoo artist? <laughs> Yeah, he a criminal and a tattoo artist. He likes looking fabulous, this bastard. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> the following was recorded via video surveillance inside Bathysphere 303A between it and Dr. Dan's control site on the New Zealand mainland. Bathysphere 303A reaches final... Oh, he can draw. Oh, shit. Oh. You know what, chat? I appreciate y'all that you're the other half of my brain. Thank you. For real? Thank you. Because I <laughs> didn't click for me. Didn't click. Thank you so much. This is why we're a support system. Thank you. <laughs> depth of 10,800 meters. It's stopped. What now? Do you feel fine? No sickness? Anything? My ears hurt. That should be expected. Now, on your left, you should see a steel container. Open it, and there will be a manila folder holding several photographs. Open it and describe the first photograph, please. D-9031 complies. The camera is located oh, so God. the photograph cannot be seen. Nothing. It's an empty cell. Thank you. Please set this photograph face down in the receptacle to your right and look at the next photograph. Dude, I'm so Dude, the way they're doing this, the way they're reading it and like the sound effects and everything, I'm actually so anxious. I'm so fucking nervous. Holy shit. <laughs> And they're just reading them, like, what the fuck? Describe it, please. Uh, it's pale and bony. Sort of creepy, actually. Place the photograph in the receptacle face down, and look at the next one. Okay. Oh, shit! Describe the photograph. It's a... I don't know. Some creepy-ass person. Describe the photograph. Please. Hell, man. He's pale, okay. has white eyes, and something... Oh, his mouth? At this point, approximately 1332 standard time, Dr. Dan and experiment control is notified that SCP-096 has breached containment. The fastest path to SCP-0961 has been cleared of civilians <sighs> and other image capturing devices, and SCP-096 is now being tracked by satellites via tracking collar. On your right, there should be another steel container. Open it. It's a pad of paper and a pencil. Yes. Please draw a sketch of the photo you Yeah, saw. draw the, Yeah, they're drawing SCP the sketch, yeah. SCP-0961 mumbles an expletive and spends the next 20 minutes drawing a sketch of the photograph. Holy At shit! At the time of completion, SCP-096 is confirmed to be kilometers away from SCP-0961. That sketch is so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Drawing in the receptacle on your left and close the door. 
SCP-0961 complies, and the sketch leaves Bathysphere 303A in a watertight buoyancy container. Mm -hmm. The other photographs are then incinerated in the onboard incinerator. No. Please stand by. Standing by. 40 minutes pass. SCP-096 is now confirmed to be at SCP-0961's position and is diving. Transponder signal ends at 9,339 meters as pressure goes beyond the device's operational limits. The camera shows the bathysphere shaking slightly. From SCP-0961's reaction, it is assumed SCP-096 is on the hull and is visible through the viewport. Dude! Oh my Video. god, imagine how horrifying that would be. Oh, you're just down there, and then fucking that thing just coming at you, and just, oh, God. Jeez, oh, that's such a terrible way to go out. That's such a terrible way. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, An no. Audio feed is as the hull of Bathysphere 303A is breached. SCP-096 is recovered by surface recovery team Foxtrot 303A without incident. The sketch of SCP-096 is also recovered, and a quick test confirms hmm. no hostile reaction from SCP-096. Sketch is sent to experiment control on New Zealand, while SCP-096 is moved to permanent containment. Holy shit. Upon arriving at SCP-0961's location, okay. SCP-096 will proceed to kill and SCP-0961. 100% of cases have left no traces of SCP-0961. SCP-096 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure and becoming docile once again. Oh, He has a little meltdown! He's just a bean! <laughs> He's like, Mom, don't take my picture! <laughs> Mom, put the camera away! I don't want my picture taken! He just has a little fucking hissy fit, you know? <laughs> He's a murder bean! That's a good way to put it! He's a little it will murder attempt bean! To make its way back to its natural habitat. <laughs> like he's a killer bean! <laughs> Due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of foundation secrecy and large civilian loss of life, retrieval Just really quickly, thank you so much for making these jokes, because I'm I got mad scared during like the part where he started like looking at each of the pictures and did, like the three picture thingy. Nope, I was freaked the fuck out. <laughs> Should be considered I needed the jokes. <laughs> Doctor has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-096. Mm -hmm. See interview 096-1. Order was awaiting approval. Termination order has been approved and is to be carried out by Doctor. On. See incident 096-1A. So, containment has been attained. Yes, Doctor. Let me see the security footage. Begin log. A large steel cube is shown in the middle of a research lab, which is teeming with a dozen or so researchers. Okay. In view of the camera is a control booth, displaying readings from various sensors inside the cube. Fast forward one minute, 32 seconds. Okay. The control booth operator leans forward, alerted to the various readings on the sensors. Approximately five seconds later, a steel wall on the containment cube receives a sizable dent bending outward. What the, the fuck? Becomes... The cube is so... The walls are thick. Dude, it's insane. That The cube was nuts. What do you mean it dented it? How... It's so... Oh my god, no. Oh no, 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 no. SCP-096 is seen bending the steel away, frantically trying to escape. It's just bending the steel away! Emergency plates drop on the cube as a containment breach is sounded. The security tape has SCP-096's face blurred out, as per containment protocol. Two security teams enter the room as SCP-096 breaks out of containment. Live rounds oh and God. tranquilizer darts are fired to no visible effect. Yeah! Approximately 90% of reason. Little homies going into a fucking rampage. I shouldn't call it little homie. They're like, like basically two point three eight what meters high. That's so. They're so tall. They're so tall. But I'm gonna still call him little homie because <laughs> he's a bean to me. I don't know. Don't judge me. <laughs> Searchers and security personnel have directly viewed SCP-096's face, and a code Lima is declared. The room and surrounding areas are sealed and flushed with a Lima balls. Class nerve agent. 
Approximately two minutes later, SCP-096 breaches research site and travels kilometers through the outside desert, traveling end log. Echo Romeo was assigned to immediate containment breach. When we realized just how big a breach we were dealing with, we were completely overwhelmed. Yeah, it makes sense. Funny how the best and brightest minds in the world can be so unprepared. So, you're saying it's your own fault? Absolutely not. This was a new discovery in SCP-096 behavior. <laughs> he said, so it's your fault. This motherfucker said, ain't me, dog. The f Don't get it twisted. That ain't my problem. Hey, you all blame somebody. I know. And these are just name dropping motherfuckers. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Imagine. It's <laughs> cold blooded. We had no way to know. And we were lucky it didn't turn into an XK. Begin log. Helm cam footage from ER1. Dude, these pictures are so cool, though. Shows a oh, it's so creepy. Floor, oh, it's so creepy. Considerable speed. This is Echo Romeo Actual. We have visual of the target. Not and increasing. ERA listens to the radio as orders are relayed. SCP-096 can be seen. Chat, your toxic trait is showing me putting his face on the Jumbotron. You're t relax. <laughs> Who hurt you? Relax. <laughs> slowly gaining speed. ERA motions off camera. <laughs> ER3 appears. Holding a modified... I'm so sorry to the YouTube people who are like, why is she pausing so much? They're like, how cute my chat is being. They're just being like, why are they so mean to the murder bean? All he wants to do is be left alone. <laughs> He's Naruto running. Like, come on. These, these chatters are just massive W's today, okay? That's why I need to make sure I read this for y'all. Because this is good. This is gold right now. Y'all got it like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you want to join us, we're live over on Twitch pretty much every single day, so come through. We watch, like, anime, we play video games, we react to random shit, so, you know, it is what it is. XM500 and it's Alicia X Life rifle. on Twitch, by the way. Two not shots are fired. Alicia X Life. The first misses, and the second hits SCP-096. Oh, shit! What?! Back we go! Back we go! Appears, holding a modified XM500 anti-material rifle. Oh, Two shit! Shots are fired. The first misses... And the second hits SCP-096. Does it do anything? Leg. SCP-096 stumbles, but recovers. Oh my Speed god, it didn't even do it. anything. It just made him stumble. Repeat, Holy no shit. ERA motions to ER-3 again. ER-3 fires three more shots. The first two miss, and the third hits SCP-096. Y'all cannot be missing in times like this! <laughs> SCP-096 falls, skids, and rolls several times, reducing its speed minimally. SCP-096 rolls to its feet and continues unabated. Camera pans up to see 8V-22 Ospreys belonging to Mobile Task Force Tau-1 flying okay. overhead and past the helicopters on the same outbound vector as SCP-096. Camera cuts out. Oh my End god. Log. Oh my god. Log. No! Video interview log 0961A. <laughs> Dr. Alexi appears very calm, determined, and answers all questions slowly and deliberately. Not slowly! <laughs> Where were you exactly at the time of the breach? On break, getting a cup of coffee. It was pure luck I wasn't caught in the containment area. Describe your actions directly after the containment breach. I sent Echo Romeo after SCP-096 and okay. Dr. Dan to the situation. Then set upon the task of locating SCP-0961. Yep. Once the general direction of SCP-096 was determined, I sent the mobile task force Tau-1 ahead to evacuate civilian population centers in SCP-096's bed, all according to containment protocol. Okay. End log. Begin log. Dr. Daniel Dan sits patiently. On the table in front of him is what looks to be a set of modified night vision goggles. Yo. For the record. Yo, these motherfuckers got VR? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, shit, we gonna see VR strippers? Let's go to VRC. Come on, get your ass in there. During SCP-096's containment breach, in the mountain range, trying to find more information on SCP-096's origins. It was a quick research expedition, so I left Dr. Alexei in charge of containment. He is competent enough, if a bit eager, and he has proved himself in the past. This is all confirmed by the very 
various related paperwork. So don't go thinking... It was just for the record, Doctor. Now, knowing that SCP-096 is immune to all known forms of damage while in an enraged state, why would you order the sniper attacks from the emergency response team? Why not? If there was a chance to slow down SCP-096 and give Mole Task Force Tau-1 more time, then we had to try it. I put ER in no danger, and the choppers were in danger of being outrun anyway. Honestly, ER could do little else to help or harm the situation. I see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Could you explain this? Interview emotions to the goggles lying on the table. Yes. This is Project Scramble. Scramble. An eyepiece we assigned to ER and Mole Task Force Tau-1. Designed by Dr. Alexi and myself, specifically for SCP-096. It carries a small microprocessor which constantly analyzes the viewing field for the facial features of SCP-096. Facial recognition software inside... Scrambles and makes an unrecognizable mess before the light reaches the human eye. It's quite ingenious, really. Sorry, I read ahead of what he was saying. Oh my god, that is so fucking smart. Dude! Dude, it's using facial recognition through that so that they can... Oh, that's so smart! So they can, like, it, they can go towards him without having to worry about... Uh, without worrying about, like, actually seeing his face, because it'll scramble the face for him. Which is kind of cool, because the earlier images had that blacked out face box thing going on. So it kind of feels like it's that. That's kind of cool. Damn. I know. Read one sentence ahead. I got too excited. I was lost in the sauce. Okay? Relax. Relax. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll be chill now. It didn't. It didn't. End lock. Hey, hey, it didn't fucking work. Hey, it didn't fucking work. Hey, wait a second. I got too excited too early. I got too excited too early. It didn't fucking work. I got so excited. <laughs> I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> There's some people in the YouTube comments who are like, "Why did she pause there, dude? I didn't know." No, it wasn't gonna work. I got, I got hyped. Are you banned? No, dude. You just typed. <laughs> Begin log. Audio transcript between Mobile Task Force Tau One and modified EG Three Sentry AWACS. Yep. Call sign Big Brother. Big Brother. Like the Ask TV Brazil show. Moving. Oh. Awaiting vector. Electronics online. Cruising altitude reached. Uploading programs oh, we fly in all camera systems. Cameras online. Big Brother is now watching. What outbound vector is the target currently heading? Target is currently westbound, traveling on. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, he's on the I-40. I think he just flipped a semi. Uh, outbound vector is degrees by next town on the vector. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I got distracted because they showed his butt cheeks and his bare feet. No! For free? <laughs> They're showing his feet? Does he have a wiki feet? Somebody needs to check. Does he have a wiki feet and what's the rating? What's the rating? We gotta know. We gotta know. Somebody quick. <laughs> Holy shit. I'd say a couple hundred kilometers. Okay. Shit. MTF, we're suggesting Echo Romeo begin evacuating the I-40. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many cars the target has wrecked. Oh my god. Let the bodies hit the floor the much, Jesus good. Christ. ER is reporting that the target is outrunning her choppers. They can't get ahead of him. Then get them to stop the motorists on the other lane. I don't know how many people have seen this thing's face. End log. The first three elements of Tau One succeeded in gathering the townsfolk in the first three towns without an incident. SCP-096-1 oh, nice. was confirmed not to be in any of these when SCP-096 ran through each in turn without stopping. However, a video log in NTF Tau shows SCP-096-1 being identified in the town of and the ensuing incident. Show it. Begin log. Helm cam footage from Element 4 of Mobile Task Force Tau 1 in the town of Most of the townspeople are gathered in the square, oh, all blindfolded. Helicopters sweep the town. Okay. Indistinct orders are heard over the loudspeakers from both the helicopters and the ground personnel. The target is entering the proximity zone. All units, activate scramble gear and begin crowd control procedures. All civilians are not to move from their spot or remove their blindfolds. Move or touch your 
approximately two kilometers away, SCP-096 is seen to be coming over the crest of the hills. It tries to slow down the descent, but trips and tumbles down at high speed. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, screaming, screaming families and children. Two kilometers yeah. Away, yeah. SCP-096 is seen to be coming over the crest of the hills. Yep. That's... It tries to slow down on the descent, but trips and tumbles down at high speed, crashing through several houses before regaining its footing almost without delay. You roly-poly stupid ass bitch ass motherfucker. You lanky ass pale ass motherfucker. That's crazy. You turned yourself into a bowling ball, crashed into the houses and said, Strike? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, wait, that's him screaming? I thought that was children. <laughs> oh, my apologies. <laughs> Several oh, the... <laughs> so, like, Hayachi Mishima in, like, Tekken 2, doing a grab, and he, like, puts your face into his armpit, and he goes, <laughs> That was super accurate. I need somebody to get the reference. Thank you. I only need one person to get the reference. I don't need everybody. <laughs> None of which are directed at SCP-096. Oh, it's towards it's all the people removing their blindfold, isn't it? Isn't it? SCP oh, God. SCP-096 stops for one second before running into the crowd of townsfolk, oh. throwing many aside and trampling more. Oh. More shots are heard as the crowd begins dispersing. God damn it, you're not supposed to move! The vocalizations of SCP-096. SCP-096 locates SCP-0961, a middle-aged man. And the camera views SCP-096 grabbing- My biggest fear. The middle-aged man, SCP. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> My biggest fear. The aging SCP. <laughs> I want to be forever young VTuber. I want to have healthy, perky anime booba for the rest of my life. <laughs> him ...before it is hit by a fleeing townsperson and is dislocated from the helmet. End log. Begin log. Video interview log 0961C. I was looking through SCP 0961's house with my squad. Poor bastard was a semi pro mountaineer. Took a trip to the. Apparently, he took a snapshot of the landscape and just happened to catch SCP 096 in the background. Wilson no. Holds up four fingers for emphasis. Four pixels. Four fucking pixels. No, that's so fucked. No, it's like four pixels in the background. Like you don't even know. Like you wouldn't even know that you took the picture of the face. glad he said that the part about like we could have put a bag over his head instead of us wearing the scramble gear because i had that thought way before but i didn't want to sound stupid <laughs> but i was like my brain was like we could just put a bag over his head to retreat him if we're so worried about evacuating the people we could just put a bag over his head right but but the only issue with that is you don't get more information and I'm like, are the people's lives worth the information? And I'm like, these some sick bastards. I don't think, I think that they don't care about the people's lives compared to information. Which is crazy. End log. Begin log. Oh, there's more! What did that call me? I'll show that goddamn son of a bitch what an egghead is after I bash open his Interviewee begins shouting and cursing. Do we need to administer a sedative, Dr. Him losing his shit like that was like me roasting our shy guy. 
and me being like, this long scrawny ass motherfucker does. I had the same vibes. No. see the background of photos or anything if someone just looks at it and they thought it was like just a misclick of a photo and they had better ones and his face happens to be there it could put him into hunt mode photographs are out there containing scp-096 just going unnoticed waiting for a careful eye as i said before i want this thing terminated now end log just a quick question doctor um, what exactly were you planning on doing there? Major Jack Wilford was top-notch SBS when we recruited him. I was also a recon corpsman, sir, and I was deployed in the Caucasus. Marines beat SBS. No, they don't. Enough. Both of you. Moving on. Damn. Video, log. Video interview log. Zero he says, six. stop the cap, bitch. Stop the cap. That's what he said. You heard him. Mm -hmm. I got the bag over its head. Oh! Interviewee is silent. And uh, I'm Wes landed the chopper. I got out and begged. I put the bag over its head. And you didn't see its face? It got calm and they took it. So it oh. was in a minivan nice. to have viewed a CP zero nine six's face. Interviewee is silent. Okay. Interviewee remains silent for the remainder of the interview and was released. He was later found in his bunk room having committed suicide via hanging with a makeshift rope. A half crushed pacifier was found in his fist. End log. Oh, because when he ripped open, because the SCP ripped over the oh, ripped open the minivan, and he held oh, the pacifier as like a memento. Oh, that's fuck. Yeah, kids died in that minivan. Fuck. I love that they don't say it flat out. They have just like a little moment like that in the writing. God, that's such good writing. But holy hell, that's dark. God damn. Begin log. Video log 096 1D. Confiscated tape from news broadcast CNN. The image shows first responders surrounding the remains of a crashed plane yep. under the shoulder of a field reporter. The plane, which seems to be military in origin, has no outward markings designating it as part of the U.S. military. While okay. first responders look for a black box recording, it is thought by police that the plane crashed due to a massive cabin breach in both the cockpit and the fuselage. The reporter motions to a large hole in the side of the plane, which several firefighters are climbing inside. Paramedics have found only three bodies which is odd for a plane apparently requiring a crew of around 20 men. Motherfucker, you can't say equal rights, equal fights to a baby. Babies don't got rights. They can't even vote. They can't even wipe their own ass. They don't got rights. What <laughs> the fuck? Like, what rights do babies got? <laughs> That's not equal rights, equal fights. <laughs> Police have suggested... The reporter is cut off. 
has three super stallion. Babies don't have rights. Can they? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Listen, none of us get rights, okay? Not until we're like legal age. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't pay taxes <laughs> I just I just get super <laughs> If you don't pay taxes you don't got rights <laughs> like fuck hit different <laughs> I did not expect us to get political I'm gonna just I'm gonna hit play <laughs> I'm gonna hit play uh mm, okay <laughs> hovering overhead YouTube comments don't worry about it don't don't do it don't get political we just save me <laughs> Don't do it. This is such a good story. We can talk about the story, please. No. <laughs> and, and begin unloading troops belonging to Mobile Task Force Epsilon. Shut up, big camera. Shut up, the mother. Oh shit! Tell him. Begin lock. So, are we finished here? One last question, Doctor. Our statement, as it seems, we find it interesting that there is no break room at research site. The interviewee remains. He said he went for coffee. He said he went for coffee. He didn't go for coffee. He didn't go for coffee. He didn't go. He didn't. He said he said he went for a break. He said he went for a break during he got coffee. He didn't go. Silent. I'm eating a piece of cheese. Sorry. Remainder of video interview log 0961A redacted. End log. I don't see what that has to do with me. There's no reason to play dumb, Doctor. He's told us everything. Well then, I guess there's no use in feigning anything. Is there? Oh, shit. Audio recording. O5 hearing. Upon reviewing your testimony and available footage, mm -hmm, the confession mm -hmm. of the late Dr. Alexei, it is the unanimous agreement of the O5 that you are to be terminated for your part in the gross breach of SCP-096. And I thought you would know the meaning of for the greater good. Do not try my patience, Doctor. Given the incident's scope and potential, the O5 have approved your request for termination of SCP-096. Given the lack of personnel with understanding of SCP-096, the termination will be entrusted to you under heavy guard and the personal supervision of me. Your own termination will be scheduled at a later date. Scheduled. Also, <laughs> damn. They terminate our our scrawny tall boy, our tall king, and also this whack ass doctor. <laughs> Yo, giggly googly goggles didn't work, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's ingenious, all right. <laughs> doctor, how could you know it worked? It was only a matter of time until that happened in a major population center and his face spread all over the news. I can kill 096, but I've killed myself in the process. Damn, motherfucker, that's crazy. Interview 096 1. Interviewer, Dr. Interviewed, retired Captain. Former commander of Retrieval Team Zulu 9 Alpha. Retrieval incident. Zero nine six one A. Begin log. It always sucks ass to get initial retrieval duty. Yeah, yeah, no, I picked up on that. Like when he like when he said the sentence of like, oh, um, like I I I, like, I can now kill like zero nine six, but in the process, like basically, I have to die. I was like, oh shit. So yeah, it means yeah, he intentionally wanted that to happen, which is why he did the whole coffee thing and said he was just on break, but in reality, he wasn't. Yep. And he's like, it's better for it to massacre the controlled area that they anticipated than it for it to mass spread, right? Which is just, because like, that's why he was like, it's for the greater good at the end of the day, is because he thought that since it's more of a controlled populace versus it being turned into news cycles and his face being everywhere, and it just being like a whole havoc. Uh, it's so fucked. <laughs> it's so fucked. what the damn thing is capable of besides what jacked up information the field techies can scrape up. And you're lucky if they even tell you the whole story. They told us to bag and tack. Didn't tell us jack shit about not looking at the damn thing. Could you describe the mission, please? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we had two choppers. 
One with my team, and one on backup with Zulu 9B and Dr. We spotted the target about two clicks north of our patrol path. I'm guessing he wasn't facing in our direction, else he would have taken us out then and there. And your report says SCP-096 didn't react to the cold. It was minus degrees Celsius. Actually, it was minus... And yes, it was butt naked, and it didn't do so much as shiver. Okay. Anyway, we landed, approached the target, and Corporal got rid of the baggage. That's what Dr. called. I turned to answer it, and that's what saved me. The target must have turned, and my whole squad saw it. That's when... Oh my god, he turned his back at the right moment because of the call. Oh my god, of being called. That's... That's because I, because oh my god, because the doctor was like, "Hey yo, pimp, what's up?" And he said, "Huh." Six <laughs> entered an agitated, emotional state. Yep. Sorry. Got the willies for a second. That's all right. Yeah, well, I never saw its face. My squad did. Well, they paid for it up the ass. Could you describe it a little more, please? Yeah. It started screaming at us and crying. Not animal roaring, though. It sounded exactly like a person. Really fucking creepy. That's what I was saying. I thought I was a kid. I was so confused. I heard the screaming. I picked up Corporal and ripped off his leg. God, he was screaming for our help. Anyway, we were blowing chunks out of the target, round after round. Didn't do jack shit. I almost lost it when it started. That's when you ordered the use of an AT-4 HDT launcher. An anti-tank gun. Started carrying it ever since the CP. This motherfucker started shooting an anti-tank rifle! Got loose. I've seen those things tear through tanks like tissue paper. Yep, they ain't gonna work on this though. There was significant damage to SCP-096. It didn't even f***ing flinch. It kept tearing apart my squad, but with half of its torso gone. <laughs> but was it taking damage? If it was, it wasn't showing it. It must have lost all its organs, all its blood, but it didn't acknowledge any of it. Its bone structure wasn't hurt at all, though. It kept tearing my squad apart. <laughs> They're tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> You're tearing me apart! <laughs> so, no actual structural damage. How many rounds would you say were fired at SCP-096? At the least, a thousand. Our door gunner kept his Gal-19 on it for at least 20 seconds. 20 f seconds. That's 650 caliber rounds pumped into the thing. Yeah. Might as well have been spitting at it. This is when Zulu-9B arrived. Yeah. Yeah, my squad was gone. Zulu-9B oh. managed to get the bag over its head and it just... Sat down. We got it into the chopper and got it here. I don't know how I never saw its face. Maybe God or Buddha or whoever thought I should live. Another jackass. We have obtained Damn. an artist's <laughs> depiction of SCP-096's face. Would you like to view it? You know... After hearing that thing's screams and the screams of my men, I don't think I want to put a face to what I heard. No. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I would want to. I would want to look at it just so that I know. Like, I think I would ask the genuine question. I'd be like, is it horrifying or is it something I can live with? I would like ask the person genuinely. And if they could give me some sort of bearing on how like hard it is to look at, I would judge it based off that and be like, okay, I'll see it. But if it's like, oh, if my imagination is coming up with something that's really grotesque already, like anything less than that would help me, right? I guess it just depends on how imaginative you are. If you're not that imaginative, maybe it's just better to not know. No. All right. It's handsome Squidward. Imagine, imagine though. Imagine if it's handsome Squidward. <laughs> oh shit! Handsome Squidward got the homies. No. <laughs> I believe we're done here. Thank you. Let this be on record that I'm formally requesting SCP-096 be terminated as soon as possible. End log. 27. Oh. 
there have been 27 attempts on SCP-096's life in the past six months, all directed by the man who set him free, Dr. Daniels. Daniels, for his part, has spent the last six months in a cell. On a good day, he is escorted to the testing chambers to oversee an attempt and then back to that cell. Yeah, fair. His termination has been delayed in order to allow him to oversee the destruction of SCP-09. Yeah, as, 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 it, as it should. Six. Yeah. But the O5s are losing their patience. Dr. Daniels is a condemned man, but okay. if all he can do is fail, well, they have plenty of other people who can handle this project. Jesus Christ. He has a month left. Regardless of his results, at the end of that month, he will be terminated. Ah! These are his last days and last attempts to take SCP-096 with him. Dr. Daniels, do some! Oh, sh no! Is that the end? No! Parker? Oh, what the fuck? I can't believe it! Oh my god, they all! I'm so stressed! I'm so stressed! I was like, okay, does he kill it or not? My brain, I can't function. That's so good. Why did they. Ah, oh, they cliffhangered me more than one piece! Oh. It was written, uh, Dr. Dana posted on 18th of March 2010. Wow! Was that? Consequences and Collarbones. The outro speech was written by Dr. Chimerian? Samarian? And posted on 2018. Wow. Eight years later. Uh, model vocals. Oh, look at that. They collaborated with people. That's actually cool as shit. Clay. All right. Well, W, link to the original video will be posted in the description below. Please support the original creator, support the original video. It'd be super appreciated. Um, also, while you're here, you know, subscribe to this channel. Stick around for a variety of content. I post two videos uh, every single day. And I also live stream every single day over on Alicia X Life. So, yay. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.